Hi everybody and welcome to a new exciting series called Uncle Bob's Solid Principles for Machine Learning Engineers. This time we won't be dealing with AI audio music related projects but rather focusing on how you can write cleaner or better code. And these solid principles in a nutshell are principles that you can use to write cleaner, more flexible code. In this video, I want to give you an overview of the course, so let's just get started. So, in general, in an ML project, you have at least a couple of very like high-level phases. So the first one is R&D. In this case, what you want to do is select a, a model and then train a model so that it does what you want it to do. And you usually enter this loop here. So you build a model, you train it, and you do some error analysis on the model to see how it's performing. And then you just like go back with the insights that you gathered from error analysis to improve your model. Okay, so during R&D, it's totally legit that your code may be scrappy because the goal of this phase is to actually get the job done in the quickest way possible and in the most effective way possible. So if you just want to use a bunch of Jupyter notebooks scattered all over the place, that's totally fine. But then once you're done with this and you have a model that actually works, you have to put it into production. And in production, you can't just use scrappy Jupyter notebooks or scrappy scripts. Rather, you have to write clean code, object-oriented programming uh, driven code. And this is done in order to reduce cost to change and maintain your machine learning pipeline. There's an interesting relationship in software engineering between the phase of your project and the cost that it takes to change your code. And this is well described by this type of uh, graph that we have here. For example, at a very early stage, for example, at requirements time, it's easy to change your code. But then while you're coding and you have part, some components already coded out of your, for example, ML infrastructure, then it becomes more costly to change it. And then when you are in production, it becomes very, very costly. Now, depending on the quality or cleanliness of your code, the, the cost of changing it may be more or less. And what we want to do is basically writing better or cleaner code so that the cost of changing or maintaining your code goes down. Now, what's the problem with machine learning projects and cost of change? Well, it turns out that many data scientists and researchers, but also ML engineers are really, really good at R&D and they spend a lot of time and they write like scrappy code and they uh, experiment and do a lot of like very cool stuff, but then they really don't like the production stuff, uh, part of the project. So they, they don't want or they're not capable of writing clean code that's gonna make your project more maintainable in the longer run. And this is a major, major problem that I've found time and again in the, for example, in the projects that I worked as a consultant. I, many, many companies do a pretty good job at developing very strong uh, prototypes and R&D um, projects, but then when it's time to take those projects and put it into production, well, there is a lot of like uh, technical debt um, kind of like accrued over time. So what we want to do is basically what Uncle Bob is telling us here. So data scientists or all AI uh, engineers should start writing solid code or code that follows the solid principles. Now, who's Uncle Bob? So Uncle Bob is a sort of software engineering guru. And among many things, he also came up with this solid principles that now are a very strong foundation for writing very good code. Now, what are these solid principles? So here, I'm just gonna uh, list all of them. And of course, we're gonna learn about this during the, the course of this series. But SOLID is basically just an acronym. So S stands for Single Responsibility Principle, O for Open Closed Principle, L for Liskov Substitution Principle, I for Interface Segregation Principle, and finally, D, it's Dependency Inversion Principle. So, 
Why should we follow these solid principles for building our ML code? Well, if we follow, if we adhere to uh, these principles, then our ML pipelines will be easier to understand. They will become more flexible. So if you want to swap one thing, for example, one processor or preprocessor for another, you can easily do it without like affecting the whole pipeline. And by doing so, your code will also become more maintainable. Now that we know why it's important to adhere to solid uh, principles, you may be wondering, okay, what are we learning in this course? Well, so you learn to define solid principles. Of course, you learn like all about like this different principles and their theory. And then based on that the on theory, you'll be able to design cleaner and more maintainable machine learning code. You'll be also uh, able to, identify solid related smells in your code or part of your code which just like smell not right so that, that there's an issue and that issue is related to the the fact that some of the solid codes are solid principles are not respected and finally you'll be able to refactor your ml code to adhere to uh, solid principles but how you learn it well so we're gonna have one video in this series for each of the solid principles. So you're gonna have five videos. And in each of the videos, you're gonna get like the theory behind uh, each of the principles, as well as a simple Python code example with a simple machine learning related uh, process. Okay, so who's this series for? Well. Uh, this is definitely for AI and ML uh, engineers and data scientists, people who are really good at machine learning, but not necessarily like super good at software engineering and want to write better uh, code to have like more uh, maintainable machine learning infrastructures. Now, uh, of course, this is also, this series is also good for recent uh, computer science graduates and uh, also for students in computer science, music tech or other like AI related um, um, fields, but also just like programmers, beginners and intermediate who want to just uh, get to a better level in their code. So the only prerequisite that you will need to have in order to follow this series is some basic knowledge of Python. So this is not gonna be a really code intensive uh, series, but rather I'm just gonna uh, sketch out like a few examples so that you can understand how to put into practice the different solid principles. So uh, as part of this course, you'll have both code as well as the slides like the presentation that i uh, have right now so where can you get that well you can get it on github at uh, the my personal account which is music music alchemist on github i'll leave you a link to this in the uh, description section of the video below okay so the other thing that i suggest you to do is to join the sound of ai community so that you can also discuss all of the things that i'm uh publishing and then you can ask questions there so if you have like any question regarding a specific solid principle or other stuff you can uh just go there it's uh, there are more than three thousand people at the moment of this video uh, on the Sound of AI Slack community, and the community is all about AI, audio, signal processing, music processing, and this kind of stuff. Okay, so I highly suggest you to go and um, sign up to the community, and I'll leave you the link to how to join the community below. Okay, so that's it for this initial overview of the series. So what's next? Well, the next video will be about the first um, solid principle, which is that one for the S letter, uh, which is the single responsibility principle. So I hope you enjoy this series. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the Sound of AI channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Take care.